this week I was gifted a circular saw. Uh, the circular saw I have is pathetic, so it was nice to get a new one that could actually maybe cut through some wood. It's a seven and a quarter, uh, two and an eighth horsepower Black and Decker from I'm guessing probably 20 to 30 years ago. I still have to look up the part number, uh, but when I first turned it on, uh, the thing was sparking like crazy at the back end. Um, I before I started it, I had um, twisted the armature to make sure that the motor was you know not seized and it wasn't. Um, but I decided to take it apart and see exactly what the problem was. So this is uh, the armature from inside, and I've already started sanding this down. Uh, it used to be pretty black, but the other thing you'll notice, you can see here, uh, there's a burn mark. And uh, I'm guessing that um, at some point during this tool's life, uh, it was either run through something uh, that was a little bit too, too rough and it bound. The blade that was on here was really dull, so it's possible that it bound up looks like it was running through gypsum or plaster and it was not a plaster blade uh, but just a thousand grit sandpaper and a few minutes and the other side's already gone uh, it used to be right there but it's it's virtually gone you can still see a slight line there I'm going to continue sanding until that's gone um, but if I continued running it um, this used to be a full black rectangle all the way across and if I continue running that over this rough spot it would have just continued throwing sparks out until the brushes were just destroyed. So, um, as you can see, this piece of copper here is like a sixteenth of an inch thick. I mean, this this armature weighs probably about two and a half, three pounds. It's it's really heavy duty. It has uh, uh, nice brush assemblies that you can just pop right in. Uh, it's definitely made to be serviceable. So, um, I'm really happy to have uh, been gifted it, and I can't wait to get it to use. Um, so I'm going to see if this fixes the problem, just getting rid of this indentation on, on the, the brush contact there and uh, see if we can get this armature back to use and start sawing some wood. This is some thousand grit sandpaper and I'm just going to twist this in circles around here and slowly get rid of that rough spot. You don't want to just sand the one spot and end up with a flat spot because then your brushes aren't going to be too psyched about that either. So try and sand it evenly all the way around and just continue this until all the imperfections are gone now you can start off with a rougher sandpaper than thousand grip and make sure you remove all the scratches uh, before you put the thing back in and there you go for just a few cents of sandpaper contacts look brand new so I'm pretty psyched about this get it back together and see how she turns All right, see if she starts up. All right, so I just plugged this in, and uh, last time I ran it, sparks were flying out of here uh, because of the really rough contacts in the armature. I, I don't have any blade in this, so. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Is it fixed? Wow, sounds good as new. Nice. Not bad for a little time's work. Just a few cents of sandpaper and a screwdriver. Good as new.